it's that time of year again, time to complete your advising packet so you may schedule your semester courses. Complete the advising packet and return it to the drop boxes located in room 1502 Old Forestry Building at least 24 hours, one full working day before you are able to schedule courses. Only students who have been admitted to LSU's College of Engineering are required to complete the advising packet before being able to schedule courses. Students in UCFY or UCAC do not need to complete the advising packet before scheduling. However, UCFY and UCAC students pursuing a petroleum engineering undergraduate degree might find the advising packet beneficial when selecting courses. For UCFY and UCAC students to gain admissions to LSU's College of Engineering, students must meet the College of Engineering requirements and have earned a 2.8 GPA overall on all course work attempted and or completed that make up the 128 credit hours required to earn a bachelor's degree in petroleum engineering. Students who are enrolled in or who have completed PETI 3050 or PETI 4050 will deposit their advising packet in Dr. Hughes's drop box. All other students will deposit their advising packet in Dr. Thurber's drop box. Drop boxes are located on the floor just as you walk into room 1502 Old Forestry Building. Let's look at the steps to complete the advising packet. Step 1. Print your degree audit. Be sure to print the correct degree audit by adding the catalog year. Students who have completed or who plan to enroll in Physics 2110 should print their degree audit on the 2015-16 or newer catalog. Students who have completed Physics 2101 and Physics 2102 but who have moved to the 2014-15 or newer catalog or who will move to the 2014-15 or newer catalog should print their degree audit on the 2015-16 or newer catalog. Students who have completed Physics 2101 and Physics 2102 and who wish to remain on the old catalog should print their degree audit on the 2013-14 catalog. To complete the advising packet from your degree audit for each course listed in column C of the spreadsheet that you have successfully completed or for which you are currently enrolled, insert the number found in column B into column A. Once you have assigned numbers from column B to column A for courses that you have completed or for which you are currently enrolled, you will notice that courses E, F, and G are courses for which you have the prerequisites to enroll. Okay, before you is the Excel spreadsheet. If you notice, every course listed in the Petroleum Engineering Program is listed in column C. If you've completed that course, whatever number is next to it in column B, you would move over to column A. Uh, then in column E, F, and G, uh, the program will take over and will give you a list of all the courses for which you have prerequisites. List all of the courses that you plan to take for the spring and summer 2017 semesters. Those are courses that you should find on column E, F, and G on your spreadsheet, the courses for which you have the prerequisites to enroll. Students who are enrolled in or who have completed PETI 3050 or PETI 4050 will deposit their stapled advising packet, the MS Excel spreadsheet, and the fall 2016 course list in Dr. Hughes's box. All other students will deposit their advising packets in Dr. Thurber's drop box. Drop boxes are located on the floor just as you walk into room 1502 Old Forestry Building. After you complete the advising packet, if you have any questions regarding course selection, you may meet with your academic advisor, Dr. Hughes or Dr. Thurber, to discuss any questions that you might have.